A business is back on the road to success. When the coronavirus started, I told you the impact the virus had on the bus industry. Anderson Coach and Travel is resuming the high school trips and vacations while dealing with an obstacle it never expected back then. Today, I went back to the garage and learned more. Another bus pulling out, ready to go on the road for Anderson Coach and Travel. Many buses were parked during the height of the pandemic, but the wheels are turning again. Uh, we definitely are getting much, much, much less cancellations. Uh, we've really shifted our business to other opportunities. Anderson adapted to COVID, finding success transporting sports teams such as Pitt and West Virginia, even teams flying in to play them who needed a ride from the airport. But another challenge has emerged, which it hasn't seen in 84 years of business. This is the first time that we've been limited on how many drivers we have as opposed to the 40 buses we have. Evan Anderson and his father Doug have taken turns driving buses on weekends. The company prefers a 3 to 2 ratio, 60 drivers to go with its 40 buses. It's holding a class in January for new bus drivers, paid training to teach driving a 50-foot bus, and help drivers earn a CDL license, which takes about four to six weeks. And we're not going to let you leave here until you feel comfortable with yourself to get on the road, but it is really easier than it looks. Evan likes the open road. It's the office work which keeps him at the garage. Anderson Coach and Travel is looking for new drivers who are on time, dependable, even good with people because they share so much time together on the bus. You get to get paid to go on vacations with people. You're taking people on their vacations, and so you might be taking them to Myrtle Beach, and you might just be in Myrtle Beach for two or three days, and you're on the clock while you're doing that.